Greetings all, the Devious Monkey here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about smart devices. Specifically, smart devices that have allowed me to set all this crap up and control it at the flick of a button. One of the things that bothered me when I had this all set up is that because I'm now I'm using four of those Aperture MC lights, I literally have to go over here, flick it on, go to the main one, flick it on, the overhead one, flick it on, and then the super top-down one over here, I gotta flick that on. Then when I'm done filming, I have to flick it off. And I can see right now, I have forgotten to flick something. Fairy lights! Look at how bright they are. In a matter of seconds, they're gonna go down to almost nothing because I still haven't charged the batteries. Okay, so what Monkey Brain decided to do was get all the lights plugged into one power strip and then take that and plug it in to a smart plug. That way I could just kill the power to the smart plug and it would kill the lights. So I went out and I ordered these. So these Casa Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini thingamajiggers. Um, so basically this just allows me to plug a power strip into this little device and in theory control everything smartly. What I didn't think about was that even if I turn all these lights on and I kill the power to the switch, they still have batteries, internal batteries, so they're still gonna run. And let me tell you, it took me a way longer than it should have to realize when I killed the power to the plug and the lights were still on, why that was. Yes, sometimes dumb monkey doesn't fire on all cylinders. Okay, so then I thought to myself, oh, you dumbass, they're gonna stay on because they are at 100% power battery wise because you have them plugged into power and they never basically go down then i had to rethink okay how can i do this one thing that i did not think about is the situs app now what i had done because i didn't realize what i was doing was that i created a what do they call it a scene for each light so whereas right there I created a scene and I called it main and I created a scene for this one and I called it right side and another one for this one and another one for that one. What I should have done was created one scene and then added all four of those lights into the scene. So what I did was I created a studio scene and I did in fact reset everything, put them all in here so now I can do this. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yay! So I got them all controlled now in that one scene called Studio. And then you can go into each individual light. So now I have, basically in Studio, I have main, or sorry, main, right, overhead, and then top. Like the top of the world over everything. That's the lemony yellow one. And I can go into each one of those lights individually and control you know the, the color temperature the intensity so on and so forth so as usual i have the main at 5600 set to 35 percent intensity then i have right set to 5600 set at 15 percent and then this overhead one for the top you know the shots of the from the zv1 that one set to 5600 15 percent as well and then i have top of the world set to lemony yellow 15 percent I was afraid that I would, like, it would just reset them all the time, but it doesn't. It just keeps turning them back on to where I had them set. So that's that. That's what I've been doing. And I did run, re, like, rerun all the power cords because the one that's coming from the main light, I only used the, the little, like, uh, I, I doubt that thing's two feet long. It's just too tiny. It didn't fit. And I have an extension put on that. And then I had to run another extension cord to be able to take it from over here over to this power strip that I have on the floor. And I decided, well, all right, at this point, now that I'm not really going to be able to control them with that smart switch, there's no point in having that. But then I thought to myself, yeah, actually there is because I can kill the power to it and make sure these lights don't come on if I'm not around or, or for whatever reason. And I bought these damn things. I might as well use them. So I still have just the lights going into a single power strip which then plugs into the smart switch that goes into power from the wall that way again i have it all controlled and those are separate from the power strip that holds power to the camera and to the 
Ninja and to the monitor for the overhead for the ZV-1. Just sort of want to keep the world separate. That way I've got them all going. Now again, I'm not going to be disconnecting any of this shit. It isn't going anywhere. We're like, I will not be taking all these lights with me. I'll just, if I ever do take out the Cinerig, it's only going to have the one main light attached to it and I can then unplug that from all the power cords and put it back into the D-tap on the back of the, of, the, of the rig setup. And I'm only gonna ever take one light with me. And if I don't, I can just take the other extra two and I can handhold those or put them on whatever. Not worried about that. You know, how I tell you this, it's all done, it's all done. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. You know that's bullshit. I'm always trying to take it forward and up and just get, you know, sometimes the smallest little detail can make the hugest difference and what you're doing. Now, I belong to a creative group. You know, we sort of go around the room and our thing and talk about whatever we're working on and all that stuff. And I said that I had finally finished my, my studio setup so that it is the most compact that I can get it. And it's down to the point where, and this is what Yankee Cowboy and I talk about, is getting yourself to a point where you can go in, sit down and press record and shoot your video. With this setup now, now that I've got the Citus app all hooked up for these lights to turn them on and off by hitting a, a, you know just the little button, I am now at that point where when I'm done shooting this video, all I got to do is hit that light and that's it. And then, I, I mean, the rest of these, like uh, the fairy lights and Ron and the lamp, those are hooked up through the Hue system because they're Hue bulbs. So, you know, okay, it's not exactly just one switch, but it isn't me walking around here and turning these four lights on and off every time I want to shoot something. Yay, thank Zeus, I'm finally at that point. I kind of feel like I'm finally at that point where literally all I have to do is sit down now, hit these lights on with one button and push record on the Ninja and I'm good to go. Now, of course it changes if I have the, the second A6600 there or if I'm using the ZV-1. Okay, yeah, it's not just one record button, but it it's a big, big difference with having to set all this shit up, go through, turn every individual device on, do your filming, then turn every individual device off. You know, I just have to tap a couple of screens and it's on and it's off and I'm good to go with that. I'm totally satisfied with that. I have toyed with the fact, since I, I have a box of these smart plugs now, is even uh, plugging the rest of the power, like the camera and all that kind of stuff, to another one, which I will probably do. It's sort of as a safety factor. I can kill power to all this gear, whether I'm here or not. And one of the things that has always bothered me about studio lighting, especially back in the day before they had all these LEDs, these efficient LEDs that don't get burning hot. So when you're using photography lights, the old fashioned ones with, this, with the searing hot light you on fire bulbs, I was completely freaked out by those things especially because I have a cat and the cat you know I mean he's not being a douche he's not trying to knock shit over but he does walk in between stuff and rub a, you know get his face going on the things and I mean he's not huge but sometimes it doesn't take much to tip those things over and I was always paranoid that those were gonna tip over and basically burn the house down well I haven't had to worry about that because one, I use LEDs specifically for that reason so that they don't get hot. But two, I kill the power to everything when I'm done with it. That way, I have a little peace of mind that everything is controllable by me from wherever I am in the world because I can control this shit whether I'm in the studio or not. And that's cool. Plus, I got the camera hooked up in here so I can turn the camera on and see if anything's going on. And, you know, just peace of monkey mind. Okay. That's all I got for you today. It took me a little while to, to work out the logistics of all this, but you know, I, again, I finally got it to a point now where I can control all these lights at the tap of one button on my screen, and I am thrilled about that. So, I mean, it isn't like I redid the studio or anything. I just sort of re-ran some cables and put them into their own power source, and everything is PG. So, if you have any questions about that or anything, I will uh, I will link to these smart plugs so that you can see where I got them. I mean, I got them on Amazon, but I'll just link to them so if you want to get them, you can get them and you'll be good to go. Okay, that's all I got. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.